This video is intended as a companion to the installation guidelines in your 6400 calorimeter operating instruction manual. Please read the manual thoroughly before installing your 6400. Please refer to and follow all local codes and ordinances, including, but not limited to, safety, electrical, gas, and pressure before installing and using your new instrument. Your PAR Instrument Company 6400 calorimeter ships complete, but some assembly and setup is required. This video will guide you step by step through the installation process. First you need to carefully plan where to install your calorimeter. It should be installed in an area free of drafts from windows, cooling fan exhaust, and other equipment that is capable of changing the surrounding air temperature. Your 6400 comes to you shipped in two boxes. We suggest you unpack them at its final destination. Box 1 contains the 6400 cushioned by custom molded foam packing traps. Remove the top trap and lift out the unit. For safety, we recommend two people lift the unit to its final destination. Carefully remove the packing tape securing the lid and remove the protective cover from the LCD. Box 2 includes the rinse tank, an oxygen and a nitrogen regulator, an operator manual, and accessory kits. The smaller packages include all of the materials and accessories you will need to set up and run the 6400. You will need the following tools during the installation process. A small assortment of wrenches and a tubing cutter which is supplied. At this point, please take time to assemble the bomb stand as you will need it shortly. You will now need to make connections for the following. Rinse water, oxygen, vent, exhaust, and of course power. Pressure regulators for oxygen and nitrogen are required to maintain the proper operating pressure. Please install these at each source before proceeding. After relieving any residual pressure, open the rinse tank by pulling up on the handle, then pressing down. After filling the tank with 17 liters of deionized water, reinstall the lid. Be sure to close the relief valve. Connect the gas inlet and water outlet lines to the water tank using the appropriate lines provided. Next, run your line safely to the 6400 and cut tubing to fit. Keep slack in the line for access to the back of your unit. With one end attached to the proper source, attach the other end to the 6400 using the appropriate sized wrench. After connecting the rinse water and oxygen lines, connect the vent and exhaust lines which terminate in the rinse container. Temporarily remove the vent line and the red cap covering the fill tube on the back of the 6400. Fill with approximately one and a quarter liters of distilled or deionized water. You should see water standing in the elbow when properly filled. The water level should be checked weekly and topped off as needed. When finished, replace the vent line and cap. Before plugging in the power cord, double check that all of your connections are secure and correct. Check that all of your lines run free and are not pinched and check that your work area is free from clutter and that all required equipment is safely secured. Turn on your 6400. After a brief moment, the screen will display the boot up sequence. Once the software loads, the main menu will appear. This can take a minute. When the main menu appears, press the calorimeter operation button. Once you have a valid jacket temperature, press the heater and pump button. Water will now start to circulate in the 6400. You should see the water flowing through the tubing behind the lid. Once the water is circulating, press Escape to return to the main menu. Press Diagnostics, then I.O. Diagnostics, then press the side arrow keys at the bottom until you see H2O Cool. At this time, remove the vessel head by turning counterclockwise one quarter turn. Place head on the stand. 
Press 1 for on. You should hear a click and then gurgling coming from inside the 6400. Once the gurgling stops, turn off the H2O cool by pressing 0. This process fills the internal cold water reservoir. Check the water level in the elbow. Refill with approximately 600 milliliters. Next, look inside the cylinder and make sure the check valve is correctly positioned. If not, reseat as shown. Replace the head with a clockwise one quarter turn. You are now ready to run tests with your PAR 6400 calorimeter.